In this tutorial, I will show you how to build the application uh, using Spring's JDBC template so that we can access the data store in relational database like uh, MySQL or MariaDB. Okay, I just create a new project. Let me start MySQL. If you haven't installed um, them, uh, I will make a link. Please uh, report to that. So the first one you need to do is uh, add library. So Spring Framework 5.2.2. That's the uh, already available with uh, Apache NetBeans uh, 12.0. I'm adding MariaDB driver so that I can connect to MariaDB or MySQL. The first step is going to load JDBC driver and then uh, database URL with a uh, username and password. Tribal Manager Data Source So it's on the Spring Framework. So driver manager data source that's correct. Semicolon. URL will be uh, JDBC MariaDB. localhost 3306 database name is test username user1 Password is password. So let me check. Okay, we have uh, JDBC, MariaDB, first one. Connect. So we uh, connect to test database and there are two tables so let's see whether it works or not database connected it works it's quite simple uh, simpler than using JDBC with a try and catch Then we are going to use a JDBC template class. So JDBC template, uh, we have an object name called JDBC template. Depends on data source. Let's import. We can check the SQL statement for drop create 
insert, update and delete. Let's begin with the uh, drop table. Previously, I used uh, employee table, so we have a table and uh, multiple records. Exact SQL text. That's all. Uh, straightforward. So let me refresh. Table is gone. Okay. So now we know how to collect the database and then drop table. So let's create an employee table. So create table employee. First one will be um, employee number. Don't forget to leave one space at the end. To avoid a uh, SQL syntax error. Parts are 25 characters long. Non-loyal. One space. Age int non-loyal. Uh, one not null and one space address bata let's say twenty five not null last one will be uh, salary numeric seven comma two Same uh, JDBC template, exact SQL text. Okay, there is a um, syntax error. So 
So if you think about it, we don't have a table, but we try to drop table. That's why we have a syntax error. So let me let me commit it out. Refresh. Okay, we create a table. So of course there's empty. Uh, So now we can uncomment. So we drop table, create table. Everything in order. Next one we are going to insert initial data or our dummy data into employee table. So we have uh, six columns. Values, we have uh, six of them. So E0001. Name, age, and gender. Address, and then salary. Initial salary, I will put it as a 0, 0.0. Okay, um, there's a syntax error somewhere. Okay, there's um, supposed to be single quotation marks, but there's a double. So let's fix that one. Semicolon. Okay. IDVC template, eject SQL text. So table, create table, and then supposed to uh, add one record. Okay. Let me copy, uh, paste it twice, and then uh, I will add new data sets employee number two Jennifer 35 years old female 4000 employee three Let's say George, 40 years old, okay, okay, let's say uh, 5,000, he has been there longer than uh, other people. Okay, we can see three record. Seems okay. Salary is zero. So next one I'm going to introduce update employee record. Update employee set salary. Let's say um, four thousand.
where employee number is E0001 Okay, this is this is template exec SQL text Let's say um, Employee records um, edit updated. So pay attention to uh, salary. Okay. Um, if you look at the syntax E0001 missing single quotation. So here, missing one single quotation. That zero should be changed to uh, 4,000. That's correct. Uh, in practice, usually we say, um, according to given employee number, let's say one. We should be able to type new salary. So let's say uh, scanner system in using standard input device. Salary should be based on double data type. So let's say if I type 3000. So here depends on uh, salary. Here um, we'll say NO number. Don't forget single quotation here, closing single quotation. Sorry, there's a spelling mistake, should be enter salary. I will fix it later. So 3000 now, okay? Next one will be delete employee data or employee record. Let's say we want to remove uh, last record E0003. The syntax is delete from employee. Where number is equal to number. Again, uh, JDB's template, exact SQL text. Let me say uh, employee record deleted. 
So basically it's going to drop table, create table, uh, insert dummy record, three of them, then remove. Last one, okay. So number three shouldn't be there. Okay, it's not there. Last one is uh, SQL select statement. So you need to uh, select employee data. Let me uh, try to type the comments first. So ideally, we select all rows from the employee table. Then we are going to return employee object as a form of uh, array list. Then we can process it with the uh, result set. So let's create a new class called employee. So each row in the table will be represented as a um, employee object. So if you have a four rows, you have a four employee objects. That's why we need the employee class. So let's say um, number as an employee number. Insert code again, add property. We will continue. Uh, next one should be name. You can leave the Java documents, but uh, for simplicity on my screen, uh, I'm not going to add that. Age, int. Okay, we have one, two, three, three more to go. Gender. That should be um, cha. Last one is uh, salary. Double. You like to see what's inside, so let's say we are going to use a two string method. Uh, usually I like to add it at the end. So two string, all of them. Okay, so we are going to see class name, all properties let me go down here so JDBC template comes with uh, multiple classes so one of them we are going to use is a low mapper so let's say uh, array list we are dealing with the employee object type list so JDBC template, we are going to use a query, not update, query. Depends on uh, SQL text. Low mapper, we are going to use a, a object. So let's say new low mapper. So let's uh, import. Array list, import, and then implement abstract methods. Okay, because the load mapper is actually interface. Okay, and then it has one abstract method called map low. So we need to implement that. So here is a straightforward. We create um, employee 
object and a return employee object. Okay, line number uh, 94 is is complaining um, we should do typecasting for array list object. So we can do that, okay. You can use a list instead of array list so that you don't have to do typecasting. But uh, I just prefer to use array list for now. Uh, basically, it's the same set number. Result set is RS. Data type is get text, sorry, get string. The first row is number one, not zero. So column uh, index is start from number one in the result set. Next one is RS get string number two of course you can use a uh, column name but I know I have uh, six columns so I will just use the uh, numeric values like one to six as long as you can match the data type it's okay next one is a set gender get string We're going to take uh, only one character because uh, set gender is a character type. Change to zero. So two more to go. Address. Alright, get string. Number five, and then next one is six. So once we have a uh, array list or list, we should be able to process it with a uh, for loop. Okay, I and two string. Because it's going to return employee object. Employee object has a two string method, so we can see what's inside the employee object. Let's go back and then uh, run it. Let's say three thousand. I forgot to print. That's okay. Um, okay, this uh, I forgot to add uh, select query, so SQL text. Select everything from employee table. That's it. Let's try again. Three thousand. Okay, we can see two record. Okay. So let me quickly check. Uh, Three thousand, four thousand, number one and two. Okay, that's the identical record set.
let me go through uh, code, uh, whether there's any mistake or not. So let me have a look here. Um, seems OK. Let me just add one comment, say um, import records selected. Uh, let me look at uh, one more example of uh, insert statement. So here, you know, we can use a prepaid statement with parameter. So if you look at here, we have a six columns. The values, actual values, we can uh, add it later as a parameter. So let me remove them all, change to parameter, question mark, six of them. Using JDBC template, uh, prepaid statement is a lot more simpler than just using a typical JDBC library. So I can use the next one. Here, SQL text. Uh, we need to use update SQL text. We have a six parameter. You just type it. Okay, A004. Let's say Jenny, 26, female, New York, uh, let's say. Two thousand five hundred. Because it's quite new. So try to look at like, like a number four. Let's say three thousand for employee number one. So if you look at record number 4, it's uh, 2,500. That's correct. OK, let me quickly check uh, this below case and all. Uh, this will be enter. So we have uh, three import statement. Uh, let me show you where, where it is. JDC template is on the Spring JDBC core. So JDBC template class and then low mapper class. And then driver manager data source is on the data source. Okay, let's go up. Um, let's try again. Three thousand. Okay, everything seems okay. That's all. Thank you.